Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your general love read. This is for August 3rd through the 9th. However, time is fluid, so whenever it comes to you, if it resonates, that's when it was meant for you. So if it does resonate, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I will come back to all of the videos, and as you should know by now, if you are a current subscriber, that's the Sagittarian, they seem to keep getting all the bonuses. So you're giving a lot of good energy. Pisces just barely beat you out this last week. Um, so like, share, comment, and subscribe. I will come back to the videos at the end of next week. Whichever video gets the most loving contributions, I will release a bonus for that sign. We have passed the 500 mark, so I just wanna say thank you and send out some energy of gratitude to you all. Um, the next goal is that 1,000. Then I can do those bonus reads live, okay? Also, there's the link for my extended program. It is the first. It is my mama's birthday. And so it is the first, and it is the perfect time to join the Patreon program. It is $5 for the extended, or you can do the $5 Energy Awakening program, which gives you the Monday through Friday current energies, or for $8.88 a month, you get all of it. So the link is in the description box below, okay? Also, there's a link if you would like personal readings. My personals do tend to fill up pretty quickly. Um, so if you're interested in that, make sure that you connect. And um, I also do a lot of intuitive and other holistic work. So um, please feel free to reach out to me on Facebook or Instagram if you have any questions about that. There is a link for all the decks that I use down below. Um, and a link if you would like to give a donation, okay? But what I'm asking for today is actually just if you have come here and you're watching my channel and it's my mama's birthday, send loving energy out to my mama, okay? Because I can't be there with her. So all the loving, like healing, happy energy that I can send to her today will be just the greatest blessing. So if you are new here, welcome, okay? I start out by pulling a card from my Mindset Unicorn deck. That way, even if this reading is not for you, you will get some sort of intention from coming here to view. Okay, after that, I pull out the intention for the reading and lay out the foundation, and then I'll go through all of it with you. Then I will clarify the foundation, and then as an intuitive medium and with Spirit Guide, I will pick through the storyline to figure out what it is that is most essential to really clarify for you. At the end, I will get some messages from the universe and an oracle card, and then I do the same exact thing for the flip side energy when I move into that extended. So if this really shows what's going on with you, it will really show what's going on with them, okay? So let's get going. Let's see what's going on. Oh. Okay, hey, that was weird. We'll see what's going on with you guys. You guys may feel back and forth today. Okay, just keep that in mind. Something you might wanna hear. Also, um, later I'm gonna do two other videos besides the um, regular videos today. I do have for my Energy Awakening program, I have to do my um, lunar phases for the month webinar and then um, I have picked out the winner using a like random name picker on um, online and then I screenshotted its little confirmation thing of the timestamp and everything and I I allowed it to pick three so I will give a shout out to the first person first that's going to get my old 30 card Mindset Unicorn deck that I have not, it's not opened up. It might be one of the originals with misspellings, who knows. Um, I recently channeled it to 54. Um, and so I will go, I'll do that video to make sure and give a shout out and the subscriber that won. And then I'm going to do a video for the full moon that's coming up, okay? because I just really feel like in tune with doing that. Okay, so now we'll see what's going on. See, even after I did all that clearing, 
you still had four cards come out. So you're all over the place today. not going to take those two, but there's the aloneness card at the bottom of the deck, okay? It's very interesting how these kind of came out as well. Okay, so for the collective, you got four, all right? And the only reason I'm allowing you four, again, is because it's my mama's birthday. Okay, so energy and birth kind of came out together. And it's almost like you're birthing energy, okay? So birth, whatever you've desired be ready to be, is ready to be born. Giving birth should be your greatest achievement, not your greatest fear, okay? And energy, the channeled message. Focus your mind on energizing thoughts today and allow all of the positive energies of the universe to flow through you and flow back for the greater good. So I feel like, again, okay, like you're birthing that energy, like, and you're being told to just go with the flow. If you think about, you know, birthing, they're like, you've got to slow down you've got to breathe you've got to work through it right and here the universe is saying okay go with the flow allow this energy to flow out okay and then of course you get harvest and winter okay so whatever you're birthing okay you could be getting ready to harvest but the thing that I love about this, okay, is that winter is really when we decide to harvest, okay? So winter, if you've been trying to make the same thing work out and time and time again it fails, perhaps you need to try something new. Now is the time to let your brilliance shine, okay? So whatever you've been doing that has been almost creating like this cold block, all right, it's time to rethink, okay, that plan. It's kind of like, you know, if a farmer goes through and they plant the same crop again and again and again and again and again and again and again in that field, it really depletes the nutrients and it really can damage the crop, okay? So harvest, planting is a choice. If you expect to see a harvest, you must first choose to plant a crop. Decide what type of harvest you want in your life, then plant those seeds. So I truly feel like there's this energy, okay, of having to get clear in this winter, okay, in this winter energy, you have to get clear of what you are planting and what you want to actually have harvest, okay? So keep that in mind, all right? For the intention for the reading, okay? You got suppression and adventure, okay? And the way that suppression came out, it came out almost like a past energy, okay? So this is like 10 of wands. So whatever you've been doing to hold yourself back, I feel like you are finally letting go of, okay? And here with the adventure, okay, you're opening yourself up to whatever these vibrations, these energies are going to bring to you. And it can almost be connected, okay, to that energy. Like you're birthing this energy to come and open up almost like a portal, okay, to this new space that you're moving into, all right? And I say new space, all right, because we have Ace of Cups as the overall energy. Now this could be you calling in someone. It could be someone returning. We'll get a little more clarity when we come back around, okay? 
cast energy, the devil. Someone was wearing a mask. Someone was attached, okay? It could be attached to a person. It could be attached to a belief, okay? But there was a an energy where this person was restricting themselves, okay, in order to um, keep from having to break free and to show, I feel like, their emotions. Current energy, okay, is divine timing. So there's this energy of, and I'm really being drawn, okay, to this crow that's standing here on the top that's almost up to 12 o'clock, okay? So whatever it is, it's like you've come around this cycle, okay? And you've picked up, all right, you've picked up the strength and you're moving around. And I almost feel like this Ace of Cups, that that crow and this crow are the same. And that um, whatever's coming forward is almost there. So it's almost the divine timing, okay? Future energy, seven of wands. So decision making time, okay, action taking time. And there's one that is a big passionate like connection that you really want to go forward with. All right. So let's get a little clearer. Okay, you are done, okay, blocking yourself, I feel like, all right? There's that winter energy with the Queen of Swords in reverse where you were stopping things, you weren't allowing them, you were um, holding on to this, this truth that wasn't serving you very well. And so now with the Two of Pentacles energy attached here, okay, not only are you opening up to that harvest energy, okay, opening up to that warmth and that allowing the energy to just flow, but we're shown here, okay, that the energy is flowing, that you are coming into this energy of really, I'm getting duplicity from Spirit Guide, um, but I feel like it is just really this calibration, okay, that's happening within you, because we also have, with this Ace of Cups, it rebirth, all right? And there's a lot of unknown energy within this rebirth, and so again, all right, make sure that you're just going with it. Go with that flow. Quit suppressing yourself. My, my, my. Sagittarius. Okay, so again, there's that unknown. I feel like in the past, okay, with this masked individual, okay, there was a lot of unknowns, all right? And you really did not know whether you wanted to pick that cup or not pick that cup. There was a feeling of betrayal that you were holding on to, which was a very deceptive energy, okay? But what was going on was really about you pulling from the 5D into the 3D and trying to, um, trying to manifest almost like in a taking hardcore, like actionable items instead of intention, okay, and emotion. Okay, divine timing, all right? I feel like you've kind of been going with the flow, but in a manner where it has been really painful okay and things are not working out as quickly as you would like them to okay you're having to have some patience here i feel like with this twin flame energy okay you want the stability you want the security but it's not happening at the speed in which you desire and that's where all of that pain comes in okay but i feel like okay divine masculine has been internalizing a lot of this pain, all right? And Divine Feminine here is like, listen, I feel divine timing coming in. 
and I'm standing my ground, okay, that I would like to take action with you, but I'm taking this with this energy that I know that I have other paths that I can take, okay? Okay, the future energy here, okay? Definitely working on yourself, all right? Um, again, you know that there are other options that you can take, but what really is like being showcased to me here, all right, is that you're not taking the easy path, all right? You are going after what you find to be the most passionate, okay? And that could be with career, that could be with work, that could be with working on yourself. I do feel like whatever you're birthing is over at this point, okay? But we've got the Knight of Pentacles here, okay, with the Three of Pentacles. So I almost feel this is kind of like, to me, this is my um, somewhat of a playboy, playgirl type of an energy. And with the Three of Pentacles, like you are trying to call in this person, okay? And if you look at this, okay, you are doing all of the work, trying to manifest, okay, all of this energy coming in to bring this person. However, this person isn't even looking in your direction, okay? They are still... Um, their feet are still completely in the unknown. Their hands are in the unknown. They're wearing a 3D mask. Okay. But <laughs> if I look at it from this direction, which is what I just laid it down with, okay. So that was your opinion on what's going on. Okay, this person's opinion is that they have all of these unknowns, they're looking towards you, they're trying to make the synergy of this work out, and you're just turned away from them, looking at whatever it is that you're creating. So the problem here, okay, is that you are both in an energy here. My ear has all this like buzz in it this morning. Um, you're in this energy, okay, of, um, both of you thinking that the other one is not paying any attention. Okay, and here we come again. This rebirth really has to do with the opening up, okay, the connection because we've got seven of wands seven of wands here okay seven of wands three times we've got seven of wands there is something being called to action and it is also about the heart chakra okay and yet there is a an energy of turning away from whatever this actionable item is Okay, and just trying to manifest it, just trying to pull it from the universe. Um, and it almost looks like she's, you know, why is this not coming? Okay. And then we've got that three of pentacles energy again, where we have divine feminine and divine masculine in completely different areas. Okay. And It feels like Divine Masculine is paying attention to Divine Feminine's inner child, but not to Divine Feminine, okay? And so this rebirth, I feel like, is trying to come, because we've also got the underlying energy, is also rebirth. This rebirth is trying to really bring the synergy into these energies, okay?
Okay, the part of the Queen of Swords here, all right? Opening back up. Okay, I feel like the coldness is turned off, all right? And King of Cups is trying to pull you in intuitively. Okay, if I get in my mind, I can pull your shit back to me, okay? But there's this newness to the way that the masculine is actually trying to create this, okay, really trying to tap into that energy, that fifth dimensional energy. I do feel like this has been um, a hard road for both parties. With the Ten of Wands here in the Page of Swords, okay, there were a lot of beliefs that had to be let go of in order to cross this path of the sword, which is thoughts, beliefs, desires. And so turning the page on those beliefs, okay, turning the page on the past, letting go of things that no longer serve you to get to the end of this hard journey. <coughs> and there's the asthma, which means someone needed to hear that. You think that my guys would come up with some better ways like to tip me off onto something, but no. It just comes out the way that it comes. Okay, past energy, the devil, the betrayal, the unknown. Okay, we've got the high priestess trying to create this, okay? In your head, sad about how things are not working out, continuing to ask, why are they not working out? What can I do differently? Okay, but it's showcasing here, I really feel like what is going on here, okay? We've got the divine masculine not listening to their higher self, the divine feminine ignoring higher self. Okay, stuck. This is a stuck energy here in the past, all right? And I feel like, okay, there was a lack of communication in the past that um, could have opened up different possibilities, okay? Okay, so again, with the current energies here, trying to just go with the flow, right? It's divine timing. So I've got Queen of Cups here, okay? Really trying to tap into that 5D energy. This almost feels to me like, okay? It's like Windy, okay, from Peter Pan. And she's sitting up here, okay, in this visualized land, okay, waiting for Peter to return because this is the reward. This is the, you know, opening of the heart and everything that I desired. Okay, and the masculine here, all right, is only seeing, again, this energy of, okay, the divine going with the flow, okay, and holding all of the cards for this new beginning, which of course, if that's you, you should know that that's very much um, deceptive energy because the feminine is very overwhelmed with this, very underwater, okay, feels like they can't reach their masculine, okay? I really feel like you should use the um, upcoming full moon, which will just be in a couple of days, to um, really try to send out some um, intention, okay? Okay. 
Okay, Three of Pentacles energy here, okay? It really is that you are both manifesting, but I feel like um, the ideas that you're manifesting are very different, okay? With the Ten of Pentacles here, all right, you can see that there are a different, it's almost like different ideas between the masculine and the feminine, okay? And we've got that inner child, okay? Trying to pull them together. And that can also be seen almost like that's the universe, okay? That's the energy of the universe. Like, come on, mom and dad, let's get it together, okay? Sort of an energy. But I feel like the decision, okay, has not been made. Two of wands here. There's still a loneliness of separation here. Um, there could be an energy of someone moving away here in this future energy, okay? I'm looking at the globe and um, the VW bus. Now, it could be that you are dreaming about past vacations and wishing that they would happen again. Um, but again, I also feel like it could be that someone is actually physically moving away. And there's this energy of trying to really pull it back together and bring that manifestation of the togetherness. But unless you guys get on the same page and are, you know, planting with the same sort of energy, I feel like that harvest, okay, is not going to come. Okay, confirmation, all right, this is a soulmate twin flame connection. You guys are triggering each other. There is a lot of mirroring. That's why that end energy, okay, is like the two separate energies where um, you both feel like the other one is turned away, okay? Yes, I feel like the king of cups in this is trying to pull back, okay, after the spilt cup here is really working okay on trying to pull their divine feminine back to them all right but there is a very guarded energy here okay time and time again with the seven of wands we keep seeing this actionable wand and even with the nine of wands there's the one actionable wand and yet there's still this guarded energy kind of pushing back against this Conscious connections, okay? Twinning, all right? And yes, one of the twins, okay, is a little more tapped in because the one twin has brought some color into this energy. But also, um, there's this spot, okay? This darkness right here that has been brought up that needs to be handled, okay? needs to be worked on. The um, other twin here is looking at the colors as they're developing, but um, I feel like they just don't quite understand how to maneuver it. And again, it is both twins looking in opposite directions, okay? So I feel like, I really feel like this is like you guys are working. I mean, almost like if you consider, okay, winter and harvest, okay? You're not harvesting in the winter, okay? So there's this real energy of just being at opposite ends of the spectrum like turned away from each other even on the bottom of the deck here where we have justice okay um you're trying to it, the justice is trying to see each other to balance things okay and yet not okay so i hope that this helps you i'm going to move into the extended see what the flip side energy pulls up in this reading and I hope to see you there. The link is in the description box, okay? All right, bye.